I think we got enough snow. There's the updated total right there. Still kind of coming down, but it's super windy. Let's see if I can fall going down these stairs. Keeps falling off the roof every time I clear the stairs. And I got Crocs on. Ugh. We're going to test out the old lady's brand new car. I'm going to pull it around to the garage and get some more of the snow off. Since I had to unbury it over there beside the truck. Oh. Alright, let's go on an adventure. Alright, so this is the current situation now in PA. It's now Tuesday. Snow stopped last night. But the wind picked up. So look at these size of these drifts off to the left. Coming off this field. Everywhere else is pretty clear. We got about 18 or so inches here. In South Central PA. We're out in the wife's uh, brand new Volkswagen Atlas. Seeing what this thing's doing in the snow, being all wheel drive, and it is awesome. I didn't think I'd get out of the parking spot. I had it in the yard and it just came right out of there. So, put the camera down because on the road, this road straight ahead, it's all field, so I'm sure it's gonna be, gonna be a lot worse. But where it's not drifting, the roads are, you know, you can actually see the road. See the snow over there is probably about two, two and a half feet tall. I've been on this road before where the fields open up and the wind blows, like right here, for instance. There's probably six inches of snow there on the road. But I've been here before where the road was closed because it was up over top of a dump truck trying to plow through it. So what they did is they brought in a uh, they brought in a um, wheel loader and was filling the dump dump trucks up with snow to get it out of the way so they could at least open the road up. That's how high the snow was. There was nowhere left to push it. But I thought we were going to get back to work today. Had to bring the dogs with me. It is later in the day, it's uh, two o'clock now, and the roads are clear. Mannheim was actually closed today. Today's Tuesday, like we're closed Monday and Tuesday, so hopefully with them being closed, it gave them enough time to kind of get everything cleaned up, at least get aisles made and snow pushed. Even though the parking lot's gonna be a complete disaster tomorrow because of all the trucks that just park there, and I'm sure there's a ton of there ton there because of the snowstorm so it is what it is but uh, we're gonna head there first thing tomorrow morning we've got five units six units there actually um, so two trips and then tomorrow we already have our back haul <sighs> I O I O it's off to work I go take a little hike a little windy out here. Hopefully the wind sock is helping. Had to get my truck out of there yesterday, which seemed to be a little bit of a disaster. Got the truck warming up. I'm gonna back it up into one of these snow banks, shovel off the deck, and we hit the road. Holy crap! Clear roads. Dirty windshield. Finally, 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 we got out and we're on the road to pick up, uh, oh, let's see, 
let's see, I've got, <clears throat> I've got two to pick up in Winchester, Virginia that go to Mannheim. Mannheim's still closed. Today's Wednesday and they are still closed. So, uh, I'm gonna get these two and have them ready to go. As soon as Mannheim opens the gates, I'm in there, taking two up there, and I've got seven there now. Had five of it this morning, I added two more from the same people that have the other five there. So, seven total cars there, which is good. And uh, we'll try to, you know, salvage this week is really all we're trying to do at this point. Um, you know, and then we got to get things situated and get loaded up so we can get down to down to Florida. Woo! Tell you one thing, it is sure good to be back in this. Got the wedge. Got a sloppy mess here in Winchester, Virginia. Shoveled the deck off, and it's uh, it's melting pretty good. It's about 38 degrees here, so be safe to get some cars up on there there's our rav4 gotta uh, gotta get a little more snow off the top deck as i slipped and fell cleaning it off but i got a shovel in here so let's get the ramps out and let's get this rav4 loaded up before i forget there's the new tires we got four new tires we've got uh that hanging down which shouldn't be Got our new plug back here. Not too bad. Ugh, gotta love doing residential pickups. Middle of downtown Winchester. We're actually parked, uh, see, right down there. I found a couple series of spots that were, uh, that were all connected through on the four ways and uh, the customer will be here in just a couple minutes. So I decided to walk up. This is his apartment here uh, i think it's a company car it's uh headed to the auction headed to Mannheim. so i'm just gonna let him pull up here he's gonna hop out pull his plates off and uh we take it away told you it was downtown uh, oh man blinkers are still on let's get out of here i really can't explain how happy I am to A, be back out after that snowstorm, and B, be back out here running the wedge. You just get yourself in a groove of what you know, and it, you know, it just strapping cars down is quick, in and out, you know, you know, it's a little easier to get in and out of cars as opposed to the enclosed, which is okay because we're actually going to be loading up the enclosed this weekend-ish sometime between now and Sunday uh, we're gonna be loading it up with a that 1949 Ford which I will show you because I have to transfer it from my single car to the two car that car runs and drives it didn't run and drive when we picked it up but um, the owner of the car let us in on a little secret how to maybe get it running it's got like a push button that's not really working very well so Anyways, besides that, and then we're picking up a uh, 1958 Apache, and that is going to Miami. And the other one is going, the 49 is going to, I don't know, somewhere in Florida. Can't think of it, but it's probably got the word beach in it. That's all I know. Welcome to Florida. Anyways, we are hopping on 81 here, headed north back to the house. They got a lot less snow down here, which is definitely nice for picking these cars up. Okay, so I'm about uh, probably 120 or so miles into the day. And this is the first real drive after uh, the check engine light issue and um, and all that. So the check engine light was on for the deaf heater. If you remember back, I was in Michigan. It was like 9 or 12 degrees somewhere around there that night. And um, I had been idling the truck trying to fix the light issue, which is fixed. But I had been idling the truck trying to fix the light issue, and that's when the check engine light came on. Um, so what I did is I took it back to the house. I checked to make sure there's power and everything going to the heater element and everything for the deaf. And somebody, whoever it was, I think it might have been two people in the comments, had said something about the lines. So I actually took the truck in the garage, let it thaw out, um, had the wood stove going, let it thaw out for 
two or three days actually and actually pulled the lines off and cleaned them out and uh, no check engine light so I don't know if there was maybe just like some crystallized death and it was causing the issue but I mean I after 120 miles and def gauge is working we just filled up on death def gauge is work I wanted to make sure it was working um, but we just filled up on death and that's fine and uh, check engine light hasn't come back on so we're gonna give it a thumbs up on that and uh, you know we're gonna drive it uh, today's Wednesday will be Thursday Friday pulling the wedge and that'll and I'll be close enough to home if something were to happen that I can get home and then next week you know we'll, uh, if the check engine light doesn't come back on I'll feel okay taking it to Florida so we're actually on our way home now and uh, see what these roads are like they were pretty bad on the way down today Ugh. That looks a little sketchy to me. Well, they're getting the roads cleaned up pretty good. Even trying to keep up with all these drifts. I mean, that's over two feet over there on the left side, and probably over three feet here on the right side. They're getting it pushed back. It's just a sloppy mess out here. And that big hill straight ahead there is I live right at the bottom of that. So, unfortunately, it's all uphill from here, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it is. Well, thankfully the sun's out. It's not too bad here still. Alrighty, that's that. Let's go pick up the dogs from doggy daycare. <laughs> 